Hi guys, I'm Ava. I'm Jamil. I'm Amber. I'm Arjun. Is she sexualizing it for clout? Like, what? What was the need? Like, she, she, she would have known what that symbol, like, that's a deity right yeah, there. Yeah, but but would she have known? But would she have known? And listen, actually, listen, she was tweeting about the Punjabi farmer situation in India, so she is culturally aware. Like, I, I feel like I, as much as I don't know on a level, unfortunately, I feel like <laughs> she would have known. There's cultural appropriation. There's misappropriation. There's appreciation, and then there's just playing up like you're racist, which I don't think she's been, but I think it's important for all of us to keep checking ourselves generally day to day. I don't have actually any issue with her being topless in the photo at all. Oh, I bet you don't, Arjun. Woo! I think, uh, I think from, a, from a Hindu perspective, it's just kind of mixing two things. You're mixing something which is like a very private, very personal thing, you know, deity. This is something which like we see as almost like a family member. Um, and we're mixing it with something which is very commercial, very, uh, yeah, could be seen as sexualized as well, very much to do with money and not really to do with spiritual life at all. I just feel like, cause it's Rihanna, most of us love her so much, bang out to her music and all that. Is that why we're not canceling her? Because we genuinely love her so much. Whereas if it was someone who, I don't know, we don't know, that's not in the public eye, that made that comment and it went viral on Twitter, we'd all be coming for that person. For me, if the proceeds and the acknowledgement isn't going back to Hindu culture and in Indian culture, I then think, well, are you appreciating or are you just appropriating? Ojin, you can tell us, is it a deity for wisdom? Like, tell us why it actually... Well, yeah, I think what you said is really, really, really interesting because like there's definitely in the West, there's definitely like a lot of kind of Indian or Hindu cultural things which are used. Like, you know, I have loads of friends or, or I bump into people uh, in the hospital that I work in, like patients, and they're white, they're English, and they've got kind of like an Orm tattoo or they've got, it says Shanti or something in Sanskrit. And I think generally Hindus and Indians in general don't have much of an issue with that because it's a, it's a cultural thing. But I think this is kind of very much overtly Hindu. Like you can't associate Ganesh with anything else. Um, so I think that's that's a really important thing to consider. It's, it's something that's kind of like at the core of religion and it's not, not seen as a cultural icon really. And just because of the history of like her Fenty Beauty, the actual beauty campaign this time, um, the range of models that she used as well, she was making a point. So that's why, yes, she's got a history of making mistakes, but then she's also got a history of supporting people from underrepresented communities as well. When I think of Hindus and Hindu culture, I do think shrines, I do think the um, the little sort of figurines, the deities, I think posters, I think beautiful artwork, I think colour. And so then I am a bit like, is it the worst thing in the world that she's put a pendant on that has a deity on it? When really, I'm not trying to be funny, I could go down the high street, right? Probably not right now, because Blackburn's not really like that <laughs> multicultural like that. But if, I was, <laughs> but if I was in you know, London and I was in a predominantly Hindu area, I could go down the street, no one would question me, no one would ask why I am buying these figurines. It's so widely available that almost makes it okay which then leads me to think and leads me to believe famous people, can they get away with mixing sort of cultures? Yeah. And Because like, I'm Asian, hella Asian, but I've had braids in the past. Uh. And it's only now that I've thought, actually, should I have done that? You know, my black friend, I mean, my black friends didn't have a problem with it. They encourage it. They love it. But is that because they are my friends? And it goes back to this likability factor. If it wasn't Rihanna, if it was someone that we hated, would she be quicker cancelled? Would that person be quicker cancelled? I'm not Hindu. I've got my views on it. But am I in a position where I can be talking about this? Yes, I can have my opinions. But if Hindus are fine with it, then who am I to say that Rihanna's wrong? There's, this is a Hindu artist. He does sketches in, in the UK. And he had a cartoon and it had Rihanna in kind of a shop. And it basically said, which, which uh, do you want to select from? and it had least outrage to most outrage. And they've classified different religions and said, you know, you can pick one from the won't get outrage category. And I think that really kind of re reflects on the Hindu community, especially in the UK, that we're not really angry as a community. We're, we're a bit uncomfortable, we're a bit upset, but we're not really like a reactive community. We're not gonna come out on the street. We're not gonna protest. But this is the thing, like, I think, would it have been better if there was like a caption underneath the picture you know, uh, like a little um, snapshot about what the deity means, what Hinduism is, why she likes it. Would that have made it better? 
Amber, she your face looks like it. it's got strong it. opinions. I can see Amber's face. She's just like, it is. If I don't say my face, that would be well. My face that would be Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't. It wasn't anything about what Ava was saying. It was more of the fact, like, you guys all scroll past the picture, which I saw in a different way. So someone had reposted on their story being like, what the F is Rihanna doing? I was like, don't come for my girl. Like, what is going on? So I then I went on the photo and I realized, shit, she's done this. And I just think like, I think the problem with people had was when I read comments was the fact that she was topless. I think that's the problem with it. I think if she had got clothes on, I think it would have been a little bit more acceptable. I'm not sure why. I kind of understand it. I, the whole like sexualizing thing. But for me, it's like, I might not be part of a religion, I might not be Hindu, but I will say in respect, I have a respect for all religions. So that's why I was kind of like, don't do that. Because if that was Guru Nanak that she had on a necklace, I'd be kicking off. Like I would be, so just because I'm not Hindu doesn't mean I'm not gonna have, um, like sympathize with people who did feel uncomfortable. Do you know what I mean? This is the thing, like, I think it keeps coming back to that sexualization, nakedness, um, you know, lingerie. Should those two things go? Should sex and religion go together? And I think the majority of people, whether you're religious or not, whether you belong to a faith or not, are probably going to find it disrespectful. And then I'm also just a bit like, well, a week before, she was massively highlighting the farmers' protests and it's everyone nice loved her then. I was like, you gained probably about 100,000 Indian followers and now you just lost them again because you've just gone and done that. Like, you Do didn't... you think? And straight after Rihanna spoke about it, all these other celebs started speaking about it. Because it, it, doesn't, it doesn't seem to have, like, people don't seem to be talking about it and they don't seem, like, it's just... Don't know people realise how much of a big thing it is. But when Rihanna came out, that was so pivotal because people were like, shit, we need to take this seriously. Like, Maya Java put it on her story and, like, flipping out, people are taking it seriously now. But then, now you've gone and done this, Riri. Whoever's your PR, flipping out, saw it out. He's like... Girl, what are you doing? That's but what are I'm you doing. are you gonna cancel Rihanna then? Are you still gonna support her? Oh, I'm still supporting her. Yeah. But then if you're but then if you've got that big an opinion of oh Rihanna, what have you done? Why are you still supporting her? I felt disappointed, but I still love her. It goes back to what I said earlier, like it's likability. I still like her. And That's I the thing, like yeah. she is not gonna stop releasing bangers. Banger after But then banger. does that make does that I completely agree with you and I'm on the same page, but then does that make us hypocrites? Because if it was Johnny from down the street who we don't know whose tweet went viral, we'd cancel him. So are we hypocrites? I actually don't think cancel culture is conducive to a well-functioning society. I disagree with cancelling. I disagree with cancel culture. If someone makes the same mistake two, three times, and I guess this is where it veers into dangerous territory because Rihanna, you know, she did the photo shoot outside the Monday. She did the Hadith during a lingerie show. And now she has put, you know, she's worn a pendant that doesn't belong to her faith. Like it doesn't, almost doesn't belong to her. So you could say that actually she's had one too many mistakes and that's her cancel. I think I think Hindu Hindus as a community, we're just not reactive by nature. Um, you know, from from the day we're born, we're we're taught that ahinsa, which is non-violence, is the best thing in the world. That we should just be non-harmful, non-violent. Uh, you know, when we're when we're praying together, we're always saying words like Shanti, which you probably know means peace. And over and over again, we kind of just in our mind, it said that, you know, we should do everything to keep peace. We should do everything to avoid violence um, as much as possible and avoid negativity. So what do you think then a solution could be? Could this be something that Rihanna needs to learn from and educate herself more? Is there something that we're taking away from it? I think I think if Rihanna said something like, let's say she posted and she, she tweeted and said, I understand that this um, may have been uncomfortable for people watching who have Hindu origin or even people who aren't Hindu as well um, might have been uncomfortable to see this. Um, and I'm, I'm willing to, have to speak to them and learn more and actually consider my actions more in the future. But then for me, just let her wear it. Why can't she wear it? If it was, let's say, a picture of a family member, like a, your, your, your grandma or granddad or someone like that, who you were very close to and had a very personal relationship with, and out of nowhere, Rihanna has a pendant and it's like that family member in their best they've ever looked and that's something that you saw that photo for your whole life and you thought wow that's someone I really love and respect and adore and that was just suddenly used in a commercial sense would you feel comfortable with that? I mean bro when you put it like that absolutely not <laughs> and, and, and obviously that should <laughs> absolutely not. Ava are you still supporting Rihanna? She got too many bangers, man. Yes. <laughs> Amber. Absolutely yes. The foundation is ten out of ten. Arjun. I I, I was ambivalent to her before, and I'm still ambivalent. <laughs> <laughs>